All right, everybody, welcome to our iPad training. For day four, we are going to be looking at Google Drive. So we're going to start by looking at what it is, um, and then we're going to talk a little bit about the app version versus the web version, which many of you are probably pretty familiar with. And then we're going to do a little bit of a group challenge. It's going to involve uh, working together quite a bit because that's what Google Drive is all about. So let's start off with this. What is Google Drive? Google Drive is a lot of different things. First off, it can be used as a type of a flash drive where you can save items to it. Only the difference is it's not a physical flash drive, but one that is on the internet. Um, within your Google Drive account, every Gmail account that you have, you have 30 gigabytes worth of um, worth of space in which you can save things to. Now, 30 gigabytes to put into perspective would be about 7,500 songs. So that's a pretty solid amount of space that you have on there. And I would imagine that most of you will probably not use all of that space. It's also kind of like Microsoft Office in the sense that it has all of the same types of tools. Maybe not to the same extent in terms of the quality, but a lot of di different very high quality tools that we will be looking at a little bit today. It is cloud-based, meaning that it is in the internet. It is something where you do not have to have a physical um, device in front of you to be able to access it. That's what I was referring to with the flash drive component of this. So with Google Drive, you can access it and use this Microsoft Office type of thing, or you can use this storage anywhere that you have an internet connection. You just need to sign into it, which is really a pretty nice thing. And the, the other thing about Google Drive that's very nice is that it syncs directly to your email account. So whenever you sign up for a Google email account or a Gmail account, it is going to automatically create a Google Drive account for you too. So that's something that really is pretty beneficial. The other thing about Google Drive that makes it so amazing and what really has, has made it such a game changer, I guess you could say, in the minds of many people in the world, both in education and in the rest of business, uh, the business world, is the fact that multiple us users can access and edit the same document, the same spreadsheet, the same presentation at the same time. If you look at this screen here, we have five different colors that are highlighting. Each of those colors is related to a specific person. So you could have five people editing the same exact uh, worksheet, the same exact presentation, whatever, all at once. That is a really, really nice feature about this. The other thing about this is you can affect the share settings for this in a lot of different ways. If you look over here on the left, you could make it something that's public that anybody can access. You can make it so that it's anybody who has a link can access it. And by the way, this public on the web would mean that it could be searched. Anyone with a link would mean that only if you uh, specifically gave them the link would they be able to access it. Or you can make it private and make it so that um, it's only people who were granted permission can access it. So you might say, okay, I want to share this with three people. You are free to go and do that. The other thing that you're able to do that's really nice with this is you can make it a view, uh, view only or an edit, or excuse me, you can give them view only or edit privileges, meaning that you can allow people only to be able to see what you have but not change it, or you can allow them to change it. All these features are extremely nice, and those are things you definitely need to be familiar with because you will use them this year. Now let's talk about the app versus the web version because what I just showed you was a web version of using Google Drive. Well first off let's say this. When we look at it, Google Drive recently, and this is the way that Google recently did this, was cre they created three separate apps to be able to use all of the different things and all the different features that they have. As of about six months ago there was no presentation app which is the one over here which is the, and they actually call it Google, or excuse me, Slides, which is the equivalent of like PowerPoint, although definitely not as, as high tech. Over here we have Sheets, which is kind of like Microsoft Excel, but again, not quite as solid. And over here we have Docs, which is like Microsoft Word, but again, not quite as solid. However, the advantage these have over um, the Microsoft Office package is that you can have multiple us users editing it at once, and again, you could edit them on the internet. Now, let's talk about this whole multiple person editing thing. How does this actually work on the app version? Well, within Microsoft, uh, excuse me, within Google Docs, um, whenever you're using this, it looks a little bit neater whenever you're on the web version. You can see the names here, you can comment and see, and have a little chat list that's over here on the right. However, in the actual app version, it's not quite as nice. What we have here, if you can tell, there are three different people in this specific doc editing at once, and you can still do the editing, but it's not quite as clear to be able to see everything from it. I do want to point out that you can still comment, and that's something you're going to have to do in this challenge. I'll give you a hint. You need to highlight it first. That'll give you a good starting point. Now, onto the challenge. What do you have to do? Well, first off, remember there are the two roles. You can't touch anybody else's iPad, and you have to press some buttons. Don't be scared. Get in the habit of pressing buttons and trying things out, because if you don't try, you won't learn. 
All right, so here's what you're going to be doing. You're going to be using three separate apps. You're going to be using Sheets, Docs, and Google Drive. The first thing you need to do, and we have about nine or ten things here on this list. First thing you have to do is create a new folder in Google Drive titled, titled Notability Backup. So in other words, you're going to be going here to create a folder. Then you're going to have to go into the Notability app to auto backup uh, all of your stuff to Google Drive. That is kind of a uh, finishing from yesterday, but this is an extremely important uh, thing that we want to do. Third, you need to create a new Google Doc and list three things. You need to fix the typo there that you would like to learn about using your iPads. So you're going to make a list for me, but it might not go to me first because you, what you're going to actually do then is share that with a small group in your class, three to five classmates. You guys will give each other feedback, and then the, the responses that you give to other people you're going to post them as comments on their work within their doc. Then as a class, you need to regroup and figure out what are some of the unanswered items that we need to, uh, to address with Mr. Wilson. You're going to create a new sheet, which is one of these. And um, everybody in the class needs to be shared onto the sheet because what will happen is you will create two columns, one with the question, one with the, uh, with the column for responses, and I will add the responses into you uh, to help you out as you move forward. Each student is required to type something into the sheet. Then you must share the sheet with me and move it to an appropriate folder in your Google Drive. Here's the deal. Some of you might say, I don't really want to move it into a folder. I don't need to. However, the point of this is so you can see what it is to do all these different things. Because moving things to folders and moving things around, you're going to see a lot of options that you have in there. And that's what we want you trying out or all the different options and capabilities possible. Okay? That's our rundown of this. Um, the next portion of this video is going to be going through how to actually complete each of these within Google Drive um, so you can see the specifics. Okay, so here's the first step in what, the way that I'm handling this and what I would suggest that you kind of advise the students to do. I imported the PDF that has the checklist into Notability so that again, like we did yesterday, they can mark things off as they go. So first, let's go and create a new folder in Google Drive titled Notability Backup. So let's go to, let's see, I'm over two apps. Here we go. To create a folder, all, and to create just about anything here in Google Drive, we're going to go up to the plus sign. It gives us the choices that we have. New document, new spreadsheet, new presentation, new folder, or upload photos or videos or use cameras. So you can actually just take a picture and put it in here. We obviously need to put a folder in here, so we're going to call this Notability. Oh, i got to capitalize it right. There we go. So Notability Backup, Create. So now I have that backup folder. And I can go in here. I can see there's nothing in here, OK? So what I want to do now is come back to Notability. I'm going to go back to my main page by clicking in that top left area. Then click on Settings. If you go to Settings, you can see that you can set an auto backup. So I have this one set on Google Drive. My destination folder is going to be, since I did not originally pick a destination folder. I'm going to call this one Notability Backup. And then up in the top right of this box here, it says Backup to Notability Backup. Push OK there. And then I'm going to come back to Settings and Close. So I should be backing up now all of my stuff in Google Drive. And you can tell that it's working because in the bottom left it says Backing Up. Okay. One thing I do want to point out here too, if the kids would like to, they can choose the way in which they're going to be backing these up. So they can choose some sections they don't want to back up. They can also change the file format. Um, I've defaulted as a PDF. Um, you could switch it to Note. That might actually be a good idea. So they could be editable later on, um, you know, for their for their benefit. So something that you can look at and, and let the kids kind of choose what they think makes the most sense for them. All right. So let's come in here and let's say okay. So we've now done prompt one and prompt two. Next, we need to go and create a new Google Doc and list three things that you would like to learn about using the app. So now we're back in Google Drive here. So we're going to come back, and I'm going to move back one screen, just to the main screen. Again, pushing the plus sign on the top right. We can now create a new document. I'm going to call mine iPad Questions. Wilson. There we go. So create. 
now we have our dock. So if you want to look up in the top right hand corner how you can add things in, how you can change things around, if you click on first the A there, that's going to allow you to change the font size, the font color, all of those good things. You can do a little bit of formatting in terms of putting things in the middle, uh, in terms of centering, excuse me, or uh, moving a tab to the left or the right with this next, um, next row down. Also, if you want to click on the three arrows over here, you can see that it's going to give you a lot of other things you can do. If you click under details, it will allow you to change the name. And if you notice that pencil up there, that pencil is telling you that you are able to edit something. Uh, it just tells you a little about its location as well. So we're going to come back. Um, something else you might want to look at, this whole share and export. This allows you to share things in a lot of different ways. One that's very interesting, teachers, that you might want to use is this send a copy because you could send a copy of this somewhere and if we push OK and now we'll turn this into a PDF that we could mail or we could actually open up in a different app so if a child emails us or wants to share something with us that's a PDF they could do it a lot of different ways or they could even just move their own into let's say notability or explain everything that we will later talk about so that's something cool to be aware of and airdrop is something we will talk about later on so you will see that soon so let's say we type in here and we say how can you save a Google Doc? And the answer is that it is going to automatically save for you in your Google Drive. But nonetheless, um, let's say we put that there. Um, so the next thing that we're going to be looking at here then is we've done all of our questions. We need to share this around and we'll look at that here too. I'm going to check this one off here because I've done that now. So now we have to look at share settings for the doc. Share this with at least a small group. How do we do that? Well, we just saw share settings a minute ago, so this should be pretty easy. If we come up here, there are two different ways. First off, I'm not editing this currently, so I actually have this little screen that has up here the person with the plus sign. If I was editing this, I don't see that anymore. To stop editing, if you click on the check in the top left, it allows you to do that. I'm going to push on that. I'm going to say, okay, let's enter some e email addresses to share. So I might say, okay, I'm going to uh, share this with myself. There we go. And then I can choose, can view, can edit, can comment, any of those three you're able to do. I would say we're going to choose edit, but you really could probably just choose comment here. There we go. So now it's good to, do, to go. That person will receive an email. So that person, once they get this, then is going to come in and say, okay, what can I add to this? Well, let's say select all, and we're going to comment here, because we now have a comment to make. How can you save a Google Doc? And then we can say it saves automatically. Oop. Little typing error there. There we go. And then I'm going to push check. And now it is there. So when the other individual comes back to look at this, if they click here and they hold over it, they're going to be able to see, oh, there's a or I can click on comment. It shows the comment that's here. They could reply and say, thanks and then leave that there and that's nice they could say resolve which would actually get rid of it as you can see see it's marked as resolve so that's now gone they can reopen it as well and leave it there so lots of different things you can do there so let's go back really quickly and check off our list and notability so we use the share settings and we shared it we worked together and we commented there we go now we need to make a sheet how can we make a sheet so here's what we can do if we come back to our drive, you can plus and create a new sheet. And I'm going to go through this one very quickly so this does not get too long. Questions for Mr. W. And I would typically use better grammar, capitalization, punctuation, all those good things, but we'll be quick. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to tap in the first box, and we're going to call this one questions. And keep in mind, too, that the spell checking on this is not nearly as solid as it is for some of the other ones and then we're going to have responses so what I'll be able to do is respond to this if you're noticing how I'm doing this I can set this up change the column widths which, which is very nice here so children will be able to then add in their answers here and then they can wait for me to give responses back on the other side if they would like to share it there are two different ways they could do it if they click on the three lines on the right it will give them the share and export uh, menu here if they click the check to be done editing it, the uh, little face will pop up. We can go through the exact same process of entering names, choosing who can edit, whatever else. The kids are going to have to share this with everybody in their class.
they can think creatively about ways that they could share this, but um, we'll leave that be for them to figure that out. So that's that. Now, if we go back to our handy dandy notability spreadsheet, so they create a sheet, they label the two columns, they have to type something, then when they're done, they need to share the sheet with me. So let's come back here. They share it with me, and then they're going to move this, and the last one was move this into a folder that they, uh, that they know where it is. So how can they do that? Well, I'm going to click next to, and actually we're going to go back to Drive, excuse me, the Google Drive app, because this allows us to do a lot of cool things. Now, how can we actually find the app in here? Because it seems like we have a lot of stuff going on. If we click in the top left, this gives us a couple options here. The one that I tend to use the most is Recent, just because it allows me to see what was most recently completed. So now we have all these things in here. If you click on the eye, and I can't, I don't know if you can see that that eye is uh, highlighting there, but if you click on the eye, it gives you a lot of options here on the right. First, do you want to share it with people? Do you want to remove it? Do you want to move it to print it, get link, open in? That will be open in another app, which is a nice thing you can do sometimes. Rename it, start, whatever else. We're going to click to move to, and I'm going to back up one step. So move to, which is an option over there. And then we can choose where we would like to add this one. So I might say, okay, I'm going to add this one to iPads. Then I'm going to say, okay, move it here. And there we go. Now it's nice and neatly organized. And I can keep track of my Google Docs and the locations that they are. So that was a little bit of a long explanation, but that should help you to see all the different things that you can do within Google Drive and um, Google Sheets and Google Docs that are pretty worthwhile to help us to get started with this this year.